Well, looking ahead now, once the statewide freeze ends on Wednesday, Oregonians will have a new set of guidelines to follow the very next day. And while some businesses will be able to reopen, others will stay closed. Here's KGW's Devin Haskins. At Werner Beef and Brew in Tillamook County, the tables have been set off to the side for the better part of a week. But as far as business goes, it was a pretty big decrease in total business. Indoor dining has been banned in all of Oregon, a one size fits all approach to slow the spread. That was kind of the hard thing, minding our P's and Q's, knowing that our county wasn't necessarily a, a high risk area, but we still wanted to make sure that we were following all the guidelines. Under the new guidelines, in the 21 counties that are in the extreme risk category, or those in red, can only have outdoor dining of up to 50 people. Tillamook County, as of now, is in green, and those in green can now seat up to 50% indoors, welcoming diners back inside. We're really excited. We We've been biting our teeth and, and biting our tongue ready for this to open up and, and get people sitting back down and enjoying beers. Among the new changes, retail and grocery stores in the high and extreme risk counties will need to reduce their capacity down from 75 to 50 percent. Fitness centers can reopen with limitations unless they're in an extreme risk county, which means staying closed altogether. And churches and other faith-based organizations can increase their indoor and outdoor capacity. We closed the doors to in-person worship in March and in-person indoor worship in March. And a lot of our churches have really adapted really well to doing online worship. The United Methodist Church is more than 100 churches throughout Oregon. They've created their own guidelines, which have been as strict, if not stricter, than the state's. And despite the 100 person max in an extreme risk county, no matter the county, UMC is limiting churches to just 10 and in some cases 25. We want to hold our hold ourselves accountable and we don't want to become church sites that become super spreaders of the virus. Coming up on Monday, the Oregon Health Authority will finalize that color coded map based off of county data. The new guidelines don't take effect until December 3rd. I'm Devin Haskins, KGW News.